Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers, this is Bobby Boy, and we are hyped for this workout today. 30 for 30, let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, depression be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and the all right, today we have back and biceps on the agenda for today. Number one, you can build size with body weight training. You just need to be eating the right micronutrients and the proper profiles of macronutrients in order to build that size. And don't forget your supplementation, link in the description, create you. <laughs> now, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we release every single video, 30 for 30. This is the series. If we don't release it by that time, it just means we didn't have a video for the day and it's a rest of recovery, okay? Trust the process. Now, before we jump into the actual work, Workout, I'm gonna give you a few tips you can be following. Let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. With any back movement, I highly suggest retracting and depressing your scaps for full engagement of your back. Number two, rest periods for body weight training range from 30 seconds to 90 seconds. You can choose for each depending on your experience level. Number three, AMRAP means it's a max out set. You want to be as fresh as possible for these sets. So rest periods will last two minutes at least before you begin. Number four, when your body is always inflamed, it can't heal and build muscle properly. This is why you should be eating your fruits and vegetables along with drinking a gallon of water a day. Number five, I'm all about power output. I take my Create You Creatine HCL every morning with my greens and I love it. Number six and last, if you think you have mastered body weight training, then your ego has taken you too far. We always have more to learn, including myself. All right, here we go. We're gonna be jumping into chin up, let goes. Now, you'd be using some type of a platform if you would like. I'm gonna show you with the platform. Okay, our hands are gonna be in a supinated grip. Our pinkies are gonna squeeze as hard as possible, and our thumbs are gonna squeeze as hard as possible. You don't wanna be in this position right here or right here. It's not gonna be useful for you. All right, our hands are gonna be just about shoulder width apart as so. Now, the most important thing is you want to try and keep your elbows in as much as possible. That's external rotation of the shoulder joint. All right. Now from here, we're going to come down. We're going to pause. We're going to retract and depress our scaps. Notice how I'm not here. I'm retracting and depressing my scaps, keeping my chin back. We're going to come up and we're going to pop off and come back down. Pop off and come back down. Okay. This is almost getting you ready for the clap pull up or the chin up, but this is just a, a precursor to that. Then we're gonna be moving straight into pause, inverted rows. Now you could be utilizing really anything. Uh, if you're in the house, you could use your table. If you're at the park, you can use a dip bar. There's many different ways that you could be doing this, but we are gonna be doing the inverted row from a straight position. If you, again, you don't have access to this, then go ahead and use something a little bit more neutral, a neutral grip. So pronated grip, our hands are going to be outside of shoulder width apart, about six inches. So here's my shoulders, about six inches, okay? Now, when we're in this position, we wanna make sure that we are as tight as possible here, and our chin is back. Now, instead of rounding our backs here, we wanna retract and depress our scaps so we're completely straight. Look at that spine, okay? Now, if you wanna bend your knees, you can, if you see, and just make sure you're squeezing your glutes as much as possible. Now, when you come up, you're gonna come, and just pause at the top and then come right back down. Most important thing here is making sure that you are not getting loose, loosey-goosey, at the top of your range of motion. So it's here and down. Don't go too far up, you don't need to. And if you do have a bar there, just tap the bottom of your pec to the top of the ball. Okay, next set, as many reps as possible, pause explosive pull-ups, which means a pronated grip, not supinated, it's not a chin-up, it's a pronated grip. Our hands are gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart, about four to six inches, not too wide though. We don't wanna be all the way at the edge of the post, okay? Now, when we're in this position, we wanna make sure that we are retracting and depressing our scaps. Notice how I'm not here, I am here again. Now, as we come up, we're gonna, we're gonna explode as much as we can Oh, like that, okay? We're not letting go of our hands or anything from the bar, and I will show you without the bar itself, or the, the seat here, I'm gonna eat, boom! Now obviously, this whole thing is moving, and I need to put some weight on it, but the whole point is to pause at the bottom, then explode up, and you're gonna tap here, just your chin right over the bar. You don't wanna go too high, and you don't wanna go be going too low. If it's a little bit too hard, use some type of a stool or something that can get you up on the movement. Okay, this superset we have lat pullovers. 
Now it's similar to when you're in the gym and you're here and you're coming and squeezing through here or a lot of people they actually just go in this movement right here. But we wanna always squeeze in our glutes throughout the entire movement, okay? So I want you to just do it without anything in the air. So you're gonna be completely straight here and you're going to, sorry, you're gonna be bent over here and all you're going to do Squeeze all the way through, right? So we wanna do the same type of a movement on a countertop or a table. This is a little bit lower, but I'm showing you just in case yours is a little bit lower than the countertop right below the camera. Okay, so we're gonna be about shoulder width apart. I'm bleeding everywhere because I just cut myself. It's all good. Um, we're gonna be shoulder width apart with our feet. Our hands are gonna be on the table as so. They could be at the edge if you would like, but more so we want that palm. On the, on the countertop. Okay, now we're going to fully extend at that or flex at that shoulder joint so it's completely uh, attached to our head. Okay, keeping everything tucked. You'll notice how I'm pushing my butt back. Okay, now from this position, all we're gonna do, and watch my feet, we're gonna walk up as we're pulling into our body. And so, I'll show you one more time. Our feet are gonna be walking while we are squeezing our glutes through into extension, and then we are also pulling as much as possible. That's where our focus should be. So, be as so, boom. Boom, and then reset. It's a killer exercise once you do it correctly. Now, we're gonna be coming here on the ground in a basically like a Superman position. You're gonna have your, the tops of your feet on the ground here. I suggest socks for this one for sure. All right, you're gonna be fully extended, fully extended. Now look, I'm not here. Look at my low back and look at my head right now. So I'm going to tuck in, squeeze everything in, squeeze in my glutes, everything. Then I'm gonna go with my arms. I'm gonna put them out here. And then I'm going to come about into this position right here, a slight bend in the elbow. Now all you're going to do is slide all the way up until you really feel like those lats are engaging and then you're gonna push your way back. Then you can fully extend on that second rep because we just wanna get you in that right positioning and you're gonna come up and reset back. Okay, the most important part here is making sure you're not going too far and also that your elbows are staying pretty much on the ground. You don't wanna be coming up at all uh, and you want them to be pretty wide with your hands. So that is your superset. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the countertop in a row. But we're gonna be doing pulsators and we're gonna be supersetting that with low trap wall exercises, okay? So you would basically find something that's sturdy. I do suggest maybe your mom or someone to set the end. We don't want the whole counter to, or anything to fly up, but if you could put your, your feet under, that'd be great. So I either grab my thumb under, depends if you're strong enough or not. I either grab like this, or I grab more along the lines of here, where it's like a uh, over pronated grip, okay? So with these pulsators, I'm just gonna grab on as so. We come here. And again, you're in a completely straight line. So the tendency of countertops is that you're pretty, they're pretty low to the ground, especially tables. So all you're gonna do is just stay straight. Stay completely straight with your body from where it is and tighten in everything, okay? Now from this position, you're gonna actually start, not here, you're gonna start a little bit forward from, from your body. Like think forward, just up or down, a little bit down, okay? So when you grab the actual countertop and you come all the way up, you're gonna be in this position, and these are pulsators, so you're gonna keep everything back, and you're gonna be coming back and forth as fast as you can. Now, if your table snaps in half, this is not my fault. <laughs> There's a disclaimer for this. And then we're gonna be moving straight into wall trap, low trap. Now, this movement is absolutely incredible if you do it correctly. So if you wanna go ahead over there, and what we're gonna be doing is making sure that our backs are completely against the wall. Look, right here, it's so against the wall, it's squeezing up as much as possible, okay? You're gonna squeeze in your abs, you're squeezing everything. Your arms are gonna be all the way out to your side, as so, okay? Now, your hands, you want them to be internally rotated at this point, okay? So, internal rotation of that shoulder joint, everything, your whole entire arm is gonna internally rotate as so, okay? From here. Now, you wanna try and keep this position while you're keeping everything down and packed all the way up the wall. Now some of you may be able to do it all the way up as so against the wall. For me, I don't have that range of motion, a little bit too much muscle in the way. <laughs> and you're gonna come right back down. Now this is supposed to be about a five to eight second count 
all the way up and all the way down. It's like a time under tension movement. Your lower traps are gonna be burning like crazy. Okay, we have push aways from the ground, but it's gonna be single arms. So these are definitely a lot more complicated and much, much more advanced than any of the other movements that we've done. Okay, so generally with the pushaways, we're gonna tuck in our stomach, keep everything flat on the ground completely. We're gonna have our elbows right by our side and then slightly come out. And we're not internally rotating at our shoulder joints, keeping everything back and tight, okay? Now we're gonna be allowing them to go wide right here. And generally we're just coming straight up here, okay? Now we wanna do it with one arm. So how are we gonna do that? Well, you can't really, it's pretty tough to just do it like this, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one arm here or you can have some type of a counter or even a couch. So we'll even move a little bit this way. Instead of doing it on the ground, we'll use a little couch action, okay? We're just gonna grab the couch as so. We're gonna have everything in the same position. Look at my body, it's the same position. And we're gonna come up, squeezing on that left hand side and coming right back down. Coming up, squeezing on the left hand side and if you want to make it even harder for yourself, you put your hand down as so and you go as so. This movement is definitely tough, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm at your set. We have slow and controlled bicep hand bangers, but inverted. Okay, so we're gonna be down here, find some type of a bar or something that you can utilize. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you're probably just gonna have to use your pull-up bar with a little bit of a platform as so when we were doing the bicep head bangers. So here, the cool way of doing these for your biceps is when you're really inter externally rotating at that shoulder joint and you're keeping everything really, really tight, you'll feel a lot of contraction on those biceps, okay? So our hands are going to be just right outside of our head, like as so, okay? So we're gonna grab them right here. Now, we're gonna have our, our feet fully flat on the ground and our butts are gonna be up away from the ground. So we're like holding ourselves up but with just slight stabilization with our feet. Now, when we come all the way up, we wanna make sure that we're coming to our, about our eyebrows as so, or, or really our nose to our eyebrows. Here, okay? And we're gonna come out, slow, and notice how I'm coming down. I'm coming down, not completely out. So I'm coming down and out with that extension, and then I'm coming up, boom, to squeeze in. Keeping my chin tucked, out, in. You will feel your biceps on freaking fire with this movement if you're doing it correctly. Just make sure you're going slow and controlled, and at the top, if you're not feeling them like crazy, you're not doing it correctly, come and watch this video one more time. All right, last set, bicep curl on the countertops. Now, I'm gonna do it right here because most of us have a countertop or something, or even a table. You can use a table, it'd be really, really effective, but we can use something that we can grab onto slightly. That's, the, that's what's most important here, okay? So, I'm gonna be not on a platform. You can be on a platform if you want. If you can get the countertop lower, just get on a platform because then you'll have more range of motion with your biceps. You don't have to use uh, get on your toes as much and, and try and like uh, change up the movement. So we're gonna grab here just outside of shoulder width apart, okay? We're gonna go on our toes. Notice how on my toes, I'm squeezing everything back. Everything is back. My elbows are attached to my sides, okay? I'm externally rotating so I'm as so in a supinated position. Now, as I come down, all I'm going to do is pull, 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 all the way down as I'm squatting down, keeping everything tight, and then back up, I'm gonna reset. Now notice very, very closely that I'm almost allowing my elbows to get away from my body, so that I'm almost in like a, a bicep headbanger that we were just doing with the last set. Okay, so on the toes, I'm gonna be here, squeezing, 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 coming all the way down, tight, ah, and then I'm coming right back up. Now the other thing, if you only have this much room, I wanna make sure that you're not going here, extension of that wrist. We wanna go in more flexion and tightening up as much as we can here, okay? If not, we can come right over here to this nice little table as so, and we can grab onto it a lot better, as you can see, through the entire movement. And that is your set. All right, so there you have it. That is your back and biceps workout. Jeremy, how do you feel? Pretty, pretty beat up. <laughs> it's some serious stuff, the technique. If you get it right, you will build muscle, but only, only if you're eating enough food and the proper macronutrients profile and everything, okay? Now, you can pick up a lot of your Create You Nutrition 
products whenever you want. Link is always in the description. Remember, I love to see your feedback on the comment section or in the comment section. I will even respond. Turn your post notifications on, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day, pretty much every single day. I'm Brennan, this is 30 for 30, and I'll see you next time. Peace.